Daryl. How are you? I'm pretty good. How about you? Better than I deserve. How can I help? Yes, yeah, so I was calling because um, I'm renting from a, um, a person we know, and it's a rent-to-own. So they had us purchase it from them, and we put 15000 down on the home, but now they just came back and told us that they want us to get someone to um, finance finance it now for for us and um we're about twenty thousand in debt right now and um we've been trying to follow your steps so far but you know it's it's a little task but we're going through it i was just trying to see what would be a good way to go about this now you've already given them fifteen thousand dollars and then they changed the deal yeah yeah they're they're moving out of out of town so or out of the state so they're they're wanting to do you not have a contract and have this in writing yes we do okay so the con does the contract say that at any time they can ask you to pay them off um i'm not too sure about that it would be unusual so is is this just like a friendship thing and they're asking you to do this as a favor um, I, I guess so. It, it, it kind of sort of seems like that, but it's through my, my wife. It's, it's someone that she knows. So I'm not too sure. I don't really speak to them too much, but I do every now and then when it comes to, to this situation. And, um, yeah. you know, they were just saying that they're about to move out of town in a few months and that if we can get the home financed, um, that way they don't have to hold the home through, yeah. uh, I, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know okay. if you can or not is the problem because you've put a down payment on something that you didn't own and, um, it's going to be very, very difficult. So I, I would have to refer you just to, you know, get in touch with Churchill mortgage and see if they can walk you through a process by which you can use that count that 15,000 that you gave up front for this. And, um, so the house is not in your name, right? No, sir. But they have your fifteen thousand, right? Yes. This is a really bad deal, Daryl. It's a really bad deal. You've gotten yourself into a pinch. Um, I hope you don't end up losing this money. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's a really good idea to get the house into your name, which means you're going to have to get financing for it. It's not refinancing, but you'd have to get financing. And the problem is you've already put out your down payment. So, what is the house worth? Um, right now we had a appraiser just come through someone that we were trying to finance it through mm -hmm. and they appraised the home right now at, um, 135. Right. And, and what is your purchase price? 155,000. Well, why would you pay 155 for a house that's worth 135? Well, I, at at the time it it was it was more, but the oil where we're where we're at it was big on the oil boom, so um, it was it was a lot going for a lot more then, and now it it has dropped. Okay, the price on the home. Oh my lord! Do you have any idea what these? Do you have any idea really, what these people you know, owe? I'm sorry. Was that? Do you have any idea what these people owe on the property? They they bought the property outright, so they don't owe anything. Oh, well, that's really good news. Okay. Well, I would have to sit down and talk to them then and say, all right, listen, here's the deal. The property dropped in value from 155 to 135 Have you told them that yet? Yes, sir. We, we spoke about that, and they said they're, they're willing to work with us on that. Yeah, and minus 15, so you'd get a loan for 120 and okay. you'd buy the house for one twenty, not one fifty five. Trying to trying to find someone to finance us right now is we don't really have much on our on our credit, but we were pretty bad on on debt before. Mm -hmm. I was working in the oil field and we made a lot of dumb mistakes and um we purchased a lot of stuff but we did get back on our feet and start paying it all off and now we got about twenty thousand in debt, but most of that's medical. The only thing that's not is one that's ten thousand on the truck that I was upside down on. 
Okay. Um, now, when you tell me the house was rent to own, is the house in your name? No, sir. Okay. So you truly have not transferred the title yet. No, sir. <sighs> Well, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what your, con- I don't know what your contract says with them, and you probably need to okay. have someone look at that, and uh, with these folks because you, I, I don't think you're going to be able to get financing with what you're telling me. You might, and the best way I can tell you to fix that is call Churchill Mortgage and see if they can pull a miracle off here. But don't go borrow money at fifteen or twenty percent interest to do this deal to help these people out who paid cash for a house. You'd be better off just to go rent something else, lose your fifteen thousand and let these people sell their house than you would to overpay for the house or get a horrible interest rate while you're broke and still in debt, right? Yes. I don't yes, want sir. you to have to move, but don't do this deal. It's already a stupid deal. It's already a bad, bad deal. Very poorly structured. You're really deeply at risk here. And, um, okay. you know, and I'm afraid for you that, that you're going to lose this money is what I'm afraid of. But uh, because I'm afraid that, that your contract's probably poorly ri- as poorly written as this deal is structured, and you're probably screwed. But, you know, find out what the contract says. Talk to Churchill Mortgage and see if you can get it refinanced or get a financing deal on it at 120 But don't pay a dime more than 120 for this house. And, um, and, and that needs to be your financed amount. Actually, you show on paper that you paid 135 and they've already accepted your down payment. Uh, of 15 that might be able to help you pull this together but if you can't get the credit to refinance or to get financing on this then you simply can't buy the house in which case you may not be able to do this deal in which case you might have lost your 15,000 because you may be moving so that they can sell this house so that that this is a oh very poorly done i'm so sorry for you guys but man you made a mess here hey you guys rachel cruz here i hope you're enjoying the dave ramsey show And did you know that I have my very own YouTube channel? Yes, that's right. It's kind of better than the Dave Ramsey channel. Don't tell them I said that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So subscribe. And there's lots of videos about life and money. So while you're at it, if you want to check out a video, then you can check out how to do a monthly budget. It's one of the best videos out there.